Hi guys, Jordan here. Short and exciting video for you. We're gonna go through my 90 day plan that I started on 2821 and I'm actually currently working through this. Today's date as I record this video is March 22nd, 2021 and I am 47 days, oh, 47 days left of my plan. So we're just gonna start from the top and I'll show you what's going on. This is my title. I have Reflect, Strategize, Pause, Act. You can have your title, whatever you want, that's gonna motivate you. I just have Jordan's 90 day plan and I put the dates there as well. This link, this is linked to a Google spreadsheet. It's an embed from the Google spreadsheet with this timer on it. So you can just copy that if you'd like to use that. If you have any issues with that, let me know. I love having this here because every time I click in, I can click a little update feature as you saw me do. That clicks and shows me exactly how much time I have left in my plan. It's super helpful. <clears throat> These are my 90 day goals to finish writing my book, which is CYD, Catalyze Your Destiny, at the end of 90 days. And I have some other goals in here as well that will uh, that are my 90 day plan goals. You can see I have my purpose statement here. Again, this is just help me help keep me motivated to keep working on this plan and to keep opening up pretty much every day. Guiding word of the year, cognizant. Days one through 30, I have my primary focus as finishing the book with some priorities here that you can take a look at. And then lead measures as I'm already past my first 30 days, I accomplished all of those plans and those are there. You can see those. And in my plan, I always have books to read. I started reading this book called The Buddha and the Badass and I wasn't a huge fan of it. So I stopped reading about 20% of the way through. I kept it on my plan so I could remember that I you know, did get some reading time in but didn't finish. So just cross that out. Then I added some other books here. Any books that I didn't finish, I actually moved down and put on my next plan. So these are things that I'm working on right now. These are books that I'm reading. Uh, and then again, these lead measures and tasks here. So this is just an example just to see where I'm at currently. Uh, I up, I've been updating it, opening it, uh, keeping things moving, updating priorities, updating what I'm working on. And actually, look, I did this one already, so that's perfect. So I'm gonna right click it. I'm gonna highlight just that square and right click it <clears throat> and put a little check mark there because I like that. It actually looks like I accomplished some of these uh, without, without realizing it, that's great. So there's things in here that I did, and I did this one as well. Uh, so you can kind of see me live as I go and update this. And I'm gonna keep updating this, this lead measure se section because I'm on day 40, I have 47 days left. So I'm in this range right here. And you can even see the date, March 10th. Okay, I'm on the 22nd, so I'm, I'm working into it. And I still have plenty of time in that range. Uh, and you can just, overall, you can just look at, look at this and see what's going on in my good things to do list. Um, for me, having this 90 day plan is just awesome. I look at it all the time. It's great when you have those feelings of, okay, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be working on. I'm kind of feeling a little bit, not tired, but a little bit fatigued, a little bit burnout. What, what, what am I reaching for? And I'm in the burnout zone right now. I mean, I'm halfway through. So you think of when you're trying to reach a goal, how easy it is to lose momentum. Uh, well, it's, it's a lot less, it's, you know, it's a lot easier to keep up the momentum when you can kind of see, okay, look what I did the first 30 days. I did make a lot of progress. And that for me, that's good. As someone who doesn't celebrate victories very well, it's good for me to see that. It's also good and great for me to plan ahead and see where I'm going because I'm a futuristic thinker. And for me, having the plan and having like, okay, this is what I need to do. This is what I need to work for uh, is just fantastic. So if you have any questions on that, please reach out, jordan at jmring.com. Otherwise, I'm just happy to help and I'm rooting for you.